up guys and welcome to another tutorial so today I'll be showing you how to make a LAN file sender receiver in Visual Studio 2012 using Visual Basic programming language so first of all I have here my form I have a couple of text boxes buttons and labels I have a progress bar and an open file dialog so this project is based on the WinSock control that we have used before in the tutorial land chatting program so first of all we're gonna add the WinSock control to our project so we'll right click on the project and hit add reference and we'll choose the WinSock control and just hit OK so now we'll start off with declaring our receive sock and our send sock. So we're type them with events receive sock as you win sock 2005 DLL win sock and we'll do the same for the uh, send sock. Okay so now we'll double click on the lesson button so this will make the um, receive sock listen to a certain part so in between the try catch block we're gonna type receive sock lesson and the port is written in text box one and we want the energy value of it so we're gonna type val of text box one the text Now for the connect part, we'll double click on the connect button and type send sock dot connect and first of all the IP which is string in text box 2 the text and secondly the port of the other client which is in text box 3 the text and again we want the energy value so we'll type this in between val okay and as always in a try catch block to avoid any errors okay now we'll double click on the browse button and type open file dialog on the show dialog and double click on the open file dialog one and we want the path to appear in this text box so we'll type text box for the text equals open file dialog one the file name all right now we want to accept any um, requests to the receive sock so we're going to the receive sock here and choose the event connection request and type receive sock dot accept either client okay so now when we deal with the send part we want first to send the information of the file I mean the file name and the file extension and then send the file itself so let's double click on the send button and type send sock dot send first of all the information which is in open file dialog one the save file name that's the file name with the extension and then send sock oops send sock the send file okay so the path of the file is an open file dialog one the file name okay now we will deal with the arrival of the file so we're going to the receive sock we're going to the data arrival okay so first of all we have here two parts we have a file and we have a string which contains the file name and its extension so we are making a boolean that will kind of toggle just to make us know um, if we're receiving a string now or receiving the file itself so we'll create a boolean that is called receiving file as boolean yep 
we'll set it to false and we're gonna make a check if receiving file equal false then we are receiving the file information okay so we have to make a string to have the file information in so string oops sorry dem file name and string okay and now we're going to type receive sock dot get and between two brackets the file name okay okay so now what you're gonna wanna do is deal with the receiving of the file itself I mean so we're typing else so now we're receiving the file receive oops receive sock dot get file and the path of the file so now we're making an input box to provide um, the path of the file so first of all we're gonna display enter the path of the receive file and the title maybe um, new file received okay the default response we're gonna make it my.computer.filesystem.specialdirectories.desktop and I mean ampersand and a slash another ampersand and file name so now we'll make the part of the toggling of the receiving file so we'll type if receiving file equals false then receiving files equal true else receiving file equal false so now let's make the um, code for the progress bar so we're going to the send sock in the send progress and type progress bar one dot maximum equals e dot total bytes I mean bytes total okay progress bar one dot value equals e dot byte sent and that's it so let's test the program out so now I'm having the program running on my PC here and on my laptop as well so the PC is going to listen to port 8888 and the laptop is going to listen to port 8887 the IP of my laptop is 192.168.100 and the port is 8887 let's connect and the IP of my computer is 192.168.1109 the port is 8888 let's connect okay so now I'm sending a file from my laptop to my PC so let's browse for it let's send this file send okay as you see the progress here let's move on to the computer now here we have the um, input box here so it's by default on our desktop okay so we're going to click OK to save it and let's check it out here it is let's open up okay so here we go we are having the file received here so that's it guys for this tutorial and thanks a lot for watching